Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher. I have a math challenge for you with prizes available. Suppose we have a pair of linear equations, each in the form ax plus by equals c. As an example for this video, these two equations, 3x minus 2y equals 13, and x plus 5y equals 27. When I do private math tutoring, Many times a student sitting beside me, a high school algebra student, has worked on problems like this. And there are a couple of standard methods taught in high school for solving this type of problem. Each method involves combining the two equations in some way so as to get rid of one of the variables so that you have only x or only y in a new equation and you can solve for that variable and then substitute that value into one of these equations to find the value of the other. Well, while the student is working on solving, say, this problem, I, sitting beside the student, will very likely be working out a solution in a different method, a method that I like but which is not taught very much in schools, as far as I know. And here's how that method works. I'm going to solve for y first, and y will be written as a fraction. The denominator of the fraction will be 3 times 5 minus negative 2 times 1. That's this diagonal multiplied minus this diagonal multiplied, that is using those coefficients. So here's the denominator, 3 times 5 minus 2 times negative 1. We have a double negative here, that's 15 plus 2, which is 17. So that's the denominator. Now for the numerator, we do something like that, except instead of using the y column, we use the constants column in its place. So it's going to be 3 times 27 minus 13 times 1. That'll be for the numerator. So again, in the numerator, we have 3 times 27 minus 13 times 1. That's 81 minus 13, which is 68. And so we have the fraction 68 over 17, which equals 4. And so this tells us that y equals 4. Then I substitute that value of y into one of the original equations. I choose the second one. It looks a little bit easier than the first. And I have x plus 5 times 4 equals 27. That is, x plus 20 equals 27. I subtract 20 from both sides of the equation, and I have x equals 7. Indeed, these are the correct values of x and y. We already know that they satisfy the second equation. Uh, we can verify that they satisfy the first equation. 3x minus 2y equals 13. That is 3 times 7, which is 21, minus 2 times 4, which is 8. 21 minus 8 is indeed 13. So my challenge to you is, why does this process of the diagonal multiplication give the correct value of y? If you can answer that challenge and would like to tell me your answer, I invite you to do so in a private message at my profile page. If you are correct on your first try, you can have a prize if you want it. The prize that I offer is what I call a six-pack. It's an audio file, actually an audio folder, consisting of six piano selections from my extensive collection of YouTube piano videos. If you would like the prize, please request it and include your email address. In any event, I hope that if you work on this challenge, it will give you mental stimulation and pleasure. Thank you for watching.